so that we don't rush through everything, we're going to do an example three that's very similar to example two with the same um, or, but things happening at the same time, possibly things that can happen at the same time. So a group of people is comprised of 15, 15 U.S. men, 20 U.S. women, 10 Canadian men, and 5 Canadian women. If a person is selected at random from the group, find the probability that the selected person is a man or a Canadian. So at this point, go ahead and pause it, go ahead and write it down, and then we're going to keep working on. So we're talking about being a man or a Canadian. And so here, it could be when it comes to these things, you can also have where it's a Canadian man. So this is talking about things could happen at the same time. So with this, sorry guys, stuff happening all over the place. So with this, we're talking about, again, this formula. Because specifically in the problem it says or, again, or right here, or. And because it says or, we're using the or, but these things can happen at the same time. You can be a Canadian and a man at the same time, so that can make this happen. So again, before we do anything here, we have, we have to kind of figure out what's going on with all the stuff. And again, we're talking about the probability of being a man, plus the probability of being a Canadian, Canadian, <laughs> Canadian, and then the probability of being both a man and Canadian. All right, so that's what we're talking about. Probability of a man plus probability of Canadian minus probability of being a man and a Canadian. So hopefully you guys can read that. That's what it says in the back. Canadian. Canadian. That's what I wrote down. Canadian. So you don't have to ask me, oh, what is that back there? It's Canadian. Man and Canadian. All right, so first off, before we can do any of these, we have to figure out how many there are of, in all, how many people there are in all. So we need to add up the 15 plus the 20 plus the 10 plus the 5. Add them all up together. And we actually can figure out how many numbers there are in all. So there's actually 50 people in all. If you add all those up. So 15 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5. 50 people in all. Okay. Now, of those 50 people... How many of them are men? So here, there's 15 U.S. men and 10 Canadian men. So how many men are there in all? 25. That's so going to be 25 out of 50. Okay, for the next part, Canadian. How many people are Canadians? So there's 10 Canadian men and 5 Canadian women. So in all, that is... 15 Canadian people. Okay. Now, how many people, how many are men that are Canadian? How many men are Canadian? So there's 10 Canadian men. So they're both a man and they're Canadian. So there are 10 of those. So we do 10 out of 50. So again, that's man and Canadian. There's only 10 of them. How many Canadians are there in all? There's only 15. And how many men there are? There's 25. So if we were to go ahead and work this out, this would give us 30 over 50. And if you change it to a decimal and then move the decimal over two places to the right, you'll see that that's about 60% chance that this is going to happen. That's the probability of 60% uh, 60 probability that the, select, the selected person is a man or a, a Canadian. And that's it. You just have to know, how, know what formula to use and just use it correctly. And again, they don't give it to you on the test. Sorry. You have to remember your formulas.